Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It is November, and it is unbelievably, unseasonably cold in New England. The sun goes down at, you know, 430. They have successfully shortened the amount of sunlight that we're getting on the planet, the plane, under the firmament. And it's going to get worse. Be prepared. That's all I can possibly tell you. Go back to the first video I ever made. It's the same thing I've been talking about for 10 years. Be prepared. But I've never seen it ramped up the way it is right now. At any rate, use this website. Use the link that's in the description below. You save money. You prepare yourself, your family. You can remove fluoride from water. You can store energy from any solar you can possibly find. And you can stack up on food, anything over 99 bucks. They ship for free and they do not give your information willingly over to the government. So there's that. So check this out. It's the 5th of November, 2019. I put this video up on April 28th, 2016. April 28th, 2016. Look at those numbers, huh? Look like today, actually. And it was a video about the petition for Target, the transgender bent, uh, bathrooms, etc. And I wrote, it's the tip of the iceberg. I said, because what they want to do is make dating, sleeping with children normal. And that's exactly, exactly what we're seeing happening right now. This is absolutely unbelievable. Being called a conspiracy theorist, a tinfoil hat, all sorts of different names over the years. And yet... In 2016, four years ago, at the end of this video, which I'll link in the comment section below, I explained that this is exactly where we were going to find ourselves today, and it is, because this is now the news right here. Check this out. One of my subscribers sent me this the other day, and I didn't have a, good, I didn't, I didn't have a chance to look into it, but this is absolutely ridiculous. Feminists declare victory in Colorado town where 11-year-old girls can now go around topless. This is getting totally ridiculous, and I find it rather coincidental that the reporter for the Western Journal said this slow slide into Sodom and Gomorrah-style debauchery is partly a result of Fort Collins deciding it wasn't worth it to fight a free-the-nipple lawsuit. This is absolutely unbelievable to me. Now, remember, I'm on a platform where my channels... There's 500,000 of us right now. So apparently I've said something worthy enough where a half a million people on the earth have decided to follow my channel. And half a million is a ridiculous amount because they've been censoring my channel. But when I, I Googled this story, the first thing that popped up in Google search was the top images, the top Getty images of topless 11-year-old girls. Do you see what I'm saying? This is absolutely off the hook. The plan, the agenda should be more than self-evident. This is totally, totally, totally insane. Let me repeat for that, for those who think I'm kidding. Girls as young as 11 can now legally walk around Colorado topless. This is going to be a problem. This is going to be a huge, huge problem. And let me remind you of something we spoke about last night. You see how this keeps coming around Train up a child in the way he or she should be, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Well, when you tell little kids that they can be a man or a woman or whatever it is they want, or when you tell little girls that they can walk around with no shirts on, they're going to. This is going to happen. This is a problem. God will not forgive people for this. There's a reason that they use this. There's a reason that Hitler used this. There's a reason that all of them use it. This is exactly what they do. They teach kids about global warming. They teach kids about climate change. And they teach kids that a little girl can be a little boy and a little boy can be a little girl. And men can love children and children can love men and so forth and so on. And blah, 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 blah. Sodom and Gomorrah. I told you this was going to come to pass. And it did. Do you see what I'm saying? And it's not a I told you so thing. The writing was on the wall. Literally. At any rate, I had to put this up. Check this out.
on Jailbreak Overlander tomorrow, a video will be dropping on the 10 must-have things for when everything finally fails, when the shit hits the fan, when there's a world without rule of law, the 10 cheapest things that you must have that you will not be able to get afterwards. Do you see what I'm saying? It's a part one video, but for now, I'm putting that up. There's a lot of videos on this particular channel that I have that I show you how to filter and purify water, how to build a bug out bag, an escape and evade bag. But the 10 cheapest things you can't afford not to have will be up tomorrow. So subscribe today or don't. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't even imagine what would happen if I had kids. I'm out.